for most of my products that I make with Rita, the first step is to boil it. So I, what I do is I take 2 liters of water and I take 25 to 30 Rita's and I boil it to half the quantity. I bring it down from 2 liters to 1 liter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to de-seed all of these and then I'm going to just mash it all up and sieve it. I'll show you the whole process. So over a period of time what I've realized is when you de-seed these, it is uh, best to de-seed it with this cover. You see this cover that covers the whole seed. So if you pull this out with it, it's easier to sieve it later. After you have de-seeded it, you put it all back in and then you squish it. You can already see the froth because that's what soap nuts do. They've got saponins in them and they froth up. You're just squishing out the pulp from the berry as much as you can. So this is the waste. I'm just going to put it aside. It looks like a ball of tamarind after you've used up all the pulp from it. And you just... This is just pure soap nut water. Take it out as maximum pulp that I can. So this is the base for my uh, floor mop, for my dishwash, face wash, body wash, hand wash. Okay, so now we are going to make our flow cleaning mop uh, liquid which is basically in place of Lysol. So now the first thing that I am going to make is uh, liquid flow cleaner. I make one litre of liquid flow cleaner at a time. So I am going to take three cups of Rita water, two cups of vinegar. I am going to take one big heap of Himalayan pink rock salt. To spread salt around your house, uh, you won't have any insects or ants coming in. Also, I believe that it absorbs a lot of negativity around. Now there are two essential oils that I use. This is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is a disinfectant. So I'm going to put one cap of this which is basically 1 ml which is around 15 to 18 drops and for some fragrance I put in lavender oil, lavender uh, is my it's my favorite fragrance but you can add whichever fragrance you like. So this again I'm just going to take it 1 ml which is 15 drops. That's about it. Now you just give it a good mix so that all the salt is dissolved. All right. And your liquid flow mop is ready. So this is it. I just fill it up completely to the brim, cork it up, and I store it in my fridge. I live in a 3 BHK and we mop our flow once a day. And this lasts me a month. Five cups. So you have to first take three cups of Rita water and one cup of uh, one full cup of glycerine. I use Khadi glycerine. It should be completely filled up. And the next ingredient that I'm going to put in is this thing called xanthan gum, which is a vegan thickening agent. I bought this online again. It will help uh, help uh, thicken this uh, whole uh, liquid. You don't need much of it, you just need like a little of it and uh, you can add it, add more of it as you use the hand blender to thicken it if you think it's not the consistency you want it to be. So now I'm going to use the hand blender. So this is how it will look. If you want it thicker, you can add more xanthan gum and uh, give it a swirl with your hand blender again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use tea tree oil and lemon essential oil for my uh, dishwash liquid. I'm going to put in 3 drops of tea tree oil and 3 drops of lemon essential oil. Whenever you buy essential oils online, be sure that it says that it is 100% pure cold pressed essential oil. And I'm going to fill it up with this. So this quantity that I made with 3 cups of Rita and 1 cup of glycerine is enough to fill my entire 
a container to make a dishwash. Now that I have the dishwash ready, I'm going to keep it aside and I'm going to make another batch of the same proportion that I spoke about to make my body wash, my, my body wash, my hand wash and my face wash. 